In this video, let's take a look at the switch component from Material UI. Switches toggle the state of a single setting on or off and are the preferred way to adjust settings on a mobile. Let's understand the component and its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder muiswitch.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the box component from Material UI and use it instead of the div tag. Now, for a switch, we need to import two components form control label and switch. Now, let's add the JSX. For our example, let's create a switch for the user to toggle dark mode. So within the box component, invoke the form control label component. And on this component, we specify the label prop and set it equal to the string dark mode. Next, we specify the control prop, which is equal to our switch component. Let us now include this component in app component and head to the browser. You can see the switch component being displayed. You can toggle between on and off state. Let's go back to VS Code and track the value in a state variable. At the top, import use state from React and within the component, create a state variable. Let's call this checked, set checked, and the initial value is false. Now on the switch, we add the checked prop and assign the checked state variable. Next, we handle the onChange event. OnChange is equal to handle change and let's define the handler. Const handle change is equal to an arrow function which receives the event as a parameter. So react dot change event of type HTML input element is the type. And within the function body, we call set checked passing in event dot target dot checked. Let's also log the state variable to the console. If we now head back to the browser and toggle the switch, you can see true and false being logged in the console. True when you switch on and false when you switch off. So our switch is working as expected. Now, if you want to use a group of switches, you can refer to the checkbox group example from the previous video. All you have to do is change the control prop to switch from a checkbox. I'll leave that for you as an exercise. As for the other props, you can add the size and color props we have been seeing with the other components as well. Let me add size is equal to small and color is equal to success. If we head back to the browser, you can see we have a smaller green colored switch. This is pretty much the usage of the switch component from Material UI. In the next video, let's take a look at the rating component, which I believe is a new addition in version 5.